This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this little Escape. It is a 2014 Ford Escape. It's an SE trim. It's a 1.6 liter EcoBoost front wheel drive. Has 99,518 miles. It was a Precision Toyota of Tucson new car dealer trade. They're basically about uh, maybe a mile and a half, half east of where we're standing right now. Um, huge Toyota dealer. Anyway, uh, we bought it from them. Uh, inspected it. The thing's fantastic. Runs and drives great. It's got a couple touch-ups on the rear bumper. A little bit on the front bumper. Just from, you know, whatever, bumping into a bush or something. That somebody's touched up. Other than that, it's nice. Perfect. Uh, we sent it to detail. Just came back. Hopefully you can hear me in this video. It's uh, super windy. And I know you're going to laugh if you're East Coast. But we're going to have our coldest day ever. <laughs> tomorrow. Well, not ever. I'm exaggerating. But for the last 10 years it's supposed to be like 25 tomorrow what the hell it looks all sunny it's cold man we're not built for this help send help send ventilators <laughs> send something anyway here's a couple little marks right here on the front bumper cover nothing big but my job in these videos is to point out anything i see that's negative i did see a little ding right here on the top of this fender that was touched up um my brother took somewhere between probably 40 and 60 hd photos and you can uh, go there and look at photos up close tires look like they're probably the fronts look like they're at least 50 percent tread so you got plenty of time with them um hopefully i can get my camera underneath this undercarriage here um but uh, like i said my job in these videos is not to tell you how great the car is it's really to find what's wrong and make sure that you know what's wrong so if I see or I experience something that's wrong, or I see something with the Carfax that's wrong, uh, which you'll be able to see in just a second when I open up the hatchback, I'll show you all the paperwork we have on the car. Um, that way we don't have any drama. Many of our customers will buy vehicles, send them across the country. They can't get there and be less than what we said. They've got to be more than what we said or we're going to have problems. This is the biggest area of touch-up right here. A little bit right here and then in here. I know the problem they had touching this up is it's a two-stage paint actually three-stage paint it's the white and there's a pearl that goes on top of it and then clear coat so they probably just did the white and that was it and got bored <laughs> so i think i saw a little bit more right here right here and right here i mean if that's it that's a hell of a hell of a nice car if that's all we got to worry about all right oh you know what gotta unlock it I do know one thing, somebody spent some money on this crazy alarm that better make sure you don't leave the keys in the car. I haven't experienced it yet, but I have a feeling this guy will like to lock you out. So <laughs> make sure you have your keys in your hand. All right, let's see. Yikes, this wind is ridiculous. Okay, well, I guess we'll go in this order. <laughs> all right, first of all, here's my, uh, give you some information here on what you're buying. Uh, this is the Mannheim Market Report for February 1st, 99,000 miles. This is what a dealer would pay for one at auction, $11,150. Uh, $11, um, and then after that, they got to make some money, right? Then you've got uh, Car Gurus. Uh, I found some comps. This is a Midwest vehicle. Obviously, West Coast is a little bit better. Um, $13,995 is a good deal with... But uh, 99,972 miles. Um, let's see. By the way, all this stuff will be scanned in and available to you online. Here's one from Lakewood, Colorado. That's a West Coast, obviously. 13,840 is a, considered a fair deal. There's the miles. Everything that I'm showing you, you can click on in the ad and look at it in person. Here's a white one. This is a really good comp, I think. But uh, unfortunately, it's a Nebraska, which obviously a little rougher on cars there. So $12,995 is considered a good deal there with 101,000 miles. Let's see. And let's see. In Iowa, another rough place for a car, um, $12,998 is considered a good deal with 100,000 miles. I, we give you this stuff so that you know um, why you're getting such a smoking deal when the price on other vehicles are so much higher to you, the same vehicles. Um, this is how we price them. SE Sport, this is the Kelly Blue Book. SE Sport with 99,000 miles, two wheel drive, 1.6 liter, 
typical listing price will be $13,531 with a range of $11,600 to $14,600, right? Here's your Carfax. No accidents reported. Uh, basically, Carfax uh, blends the uh, Carfax and the Kelly Blue Book together. They come up with $13,070 as the retail value of this vehicle. That seems really low to me, by the way. Really low, um, considering uh, what I see every day. Um, there's your VIN, front wheel drive, no accidents reported. Uh, no major title problems, obviously that matters. And basically you should, you could just click on the Carfax yourself and look at it. Um, there's really, it's kind of boring, just a lot of good services. Bum, bum, bum. Da, 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 da. Low mileage car which it is and let's see it makes its way to precision toyota uh january 8th of 2022 and makes its way to us okay there you go i'm gonna leave this stuff here so it doesn't blow away oh uh, what else we got going on here let me close that so see what i mean that has a lock on it so guessing you and I are playing along with it there he goes disarmed hop in here and start it up then we'll go into the hood 99,000 was it 99,900 99,537 miles right here okay all right let's go into the hood here I like these little cars. We just sold one the other day to, um, let's see, now I gotta remember, oh yeah, that's right over here. We just sold uh, this exact car, same color, everything, to someone who's bought several cars from us and they love it. Not much going on here. There's your Ford stickers where they belong. What's that? All right, window up and down. Let's see. Seats in good shape, upholsters solid. You do have a manual in here. All right, just so you know, right there is your USB and there's an auxiliary, right? A little cup holder that goes on top of that, a little change holder, I mean. Ba -ba -bum. You know what? I got the window locks on, don't I? Gosh darn it. I do that every time. Every single time. What's going on here? Oh, a little storage thing down here, huh? That's kind of cool. Well, no sense in trying the window back here because I have the window lock on. We'll do it from the front door. All right. There's your driver window, passenger window, passenger rear window, driver rear window. The driver's seat is a power seat, which is unusual. That's forward, back, up, down, rear tilt forward, back. Let's see, we're gonna turn the headlights on, turn the turn signal on. Do I, have to, I don't have the headlights on, do I? Gotta turn them. Mm, how do you work these things? Oh, is it that way? Not sure how these things work. There's a turn signal. Gotta learn how to do the lights of this thing. So we'll just do it on together, won't we? Let's see. Well, that's automatic. So that would be on. Automatic would make the uh there we go there's your headlights so one click farther over it's automatic and they won't come on in the daylight turn signal running lights yes see if you turn it one more this way 
then the headlights will go off and they'll come on when it's dark all right let's see turn signal running lights yes i like to run through all this stuff so you see it so you don't have to wonder headlight turn signal headlight blah 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 okay there we go i just want to make sure that i know what i'm talking about here i'm going to turn it to this and that should turn the headlight off because it's sunny and it does all right so now we know how that works on this car all right turn everything off there we go turn signal off put the seat back where i can drive it seat belt on I can't believe i'm wearing a coat Ugh. chilly wind I'll tell you that much all right let's see what else we got here windshield wipers uh, air conditioning which won't take long to yeah it's already very functional that's enough of that that's enough of that I'll turn that off all right let's see what else we got defroster let's see Radio. Metamucil every day for 14 days, and it's really that easy. There's your steering controls for the volume. You can change stations. All right. Let's see what else. Turn that off. Cruise control. That's cruise control on and off. That's right here. See? Boom. Let's see. And then we can go through. This is using this thing. Fuel economy, all that stuff information la 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 settings anyway that's all that stuff all the boring stuff let me go back to something more interesting more fun let's see i think information will give us no let's go to settings driver assist traction control D -d -d. oh wait display Let's look at display. Language, distance, temperature. It's unfair. It's, it says it's 54 degrees. Well, I don't know. It feels like it's 10. Uh, I know. I'm getting. I'm, I can feel the uh, cold stare of people who are actually in snow hating it. Sorry about that. All right. <laughs> uh, what else we got here? I think that's about it. I think we need to go for a ride. That's drive. Let's see if the backup camera is going here. There's backup camera right there, right? Okay. All right, let's go for a ride. If you come to Tucson to drive this little car home, you'll pay your state tax rate plus our city of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship this car out of state, all you're going to pay is agreed upon price and that's it. There'll be no tax, there'll be no dock fee. Um, once we receive full payment, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We'll sign it off to you, scan it in your online file, and we will mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in. Um, everything's up above board with us, you know, from the Carfax to the Kelly to the uh, Mannheim Market Report, um, car gurus, condition, driving it, the whole bit. Everything's up front, so we reduce the drama factor to zero okay um anyway if you do buy pay by wire and ship once we receive that payment we'll send you the title you will have the vehicle shipped to you if you need help with shipping let me know early in the transaction i can do it for you or uh or you can do it yourself either way okay we can roll the price of the shipping into the price of the vehicle and just make one payment if you need okay Deposits five hundred dollars. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. So please make sure you get your deposit in. All right. Um, last part of every deal, I say the same thing every time I do a video. We don't have sales. We don't have bottled water. We don't have with our name on it. We don't have a, a, a person serving lattes and scones. Exactly a mile and a half that way is the auto mall on this road, and you can get all that stuff. But when you buy that when you buy a car there you're paying for all that stuff in the price of the car they also know that when they sell you this vehicle at the auto mall 
and something breaks, you're gonna come in and say, I just paid you know, $17,900 for this escape and something's broken and they should fix it because they killed you, all right? So they, they know that and so they incorporate five to $700 in the sales price of the vehicle for future repairs. So when you come in, they can afford to fix the vehicle with your money, okay? We don't charge you for future repairs uh, in the in the price of the car. We don't charge you for salesman's commissions because there are no salesmen. We don't have a fancy location. We don't have lattes. We don't have any of the bills that they have to cover with the sale of their vehicles with ours, okay? Therefore, there's only one rule, okay? The only rule we have is that on day one, you're the owner. If something breaks, you've saved a lot of money buying from us, fix it with the money you saved. That being said, obviously this car is in fantastic condition. Obviously it's been taken really good care of. Um, it really needs nothing, okay? But, you know, just keep up on the service and don't put it in a lake, don't wreck it. This thing will go for a long, 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 long time, okay? But you never know. I mean, it could say, you know, tomorrow they could say, it could say to itself, you know what, I'm gonna have a window motor go out or an injector start screwing up or, radio stop working or something who knows if it does you've saved a lot of money don't be angry just go get it fixed with the money you saved it's very simple okay all righty then i think i'm gonna go park this bad boy and i'm gonna go inside and warm up holy cow i know i know i'm a sissy i get it i get it i know i'm a sissy all right <laughs> i know i'm a sissy but i gotta tell you we're not used to this. I'm used to 105 and being really hot. And people say, how do you do that heat? Well, it's not that bad. Well, this is bad. This is brutal. I don't know. I'm about to freaking... Ugh. God. I don't know how people go to football games in weather like this. I mean, it looks beautiful, right? It's cold. It says 54 right there. There's no chance it's 54. Oh. Anyway, I think that's it. Enough bitching by me. Thank you for your time.